We are opening the school in the cloud here today and I'm going to actually run a soul. Um, I haven't yet decided what the question is going to be and I don't quite know who the children are. The children have never done a soul before so we are fully unprepared. You make your own groups, you can change your groups, you can walk around, you can look at other people's work. It's anything but a classroom, right? Instead of somebody teaching something, is it possible for me to take something that I cannot teach and ask you if you can learn it by yourself? Do you see what I mean? It kind of, it's the opposite of teaching. Once you've introduced the concept of the soul, then you have to raise a question. Generally in the form of, I wonder why or I wonder what. You've all seen a tear drop, right? <laughs> so my question is, why are those drops pointy at the top and roundish at the bottom? So it must be all like one and then like as it comes, because if you imagine it, the, so you the tear drops. The real answer good. will involve yeah. two concepts, gravity and surface well, tension, way the above many of their the levels. It was a very hard question, very scientific and it was a very strange question as well. Um, so it was, that, that, that's what made it even more fun. It's really hard to describe how the question arrives in your own mind, but I take the topic that I'm supposed to teach and ask myself why that topic is there in the first place. This is more or less what a five-year-old does actually with their parents. They keep asking why until you hit a, almost a metaphysical point. So for example, how do you measure a mountain? Now that's a much better question than uh, how does trigonometry work?